Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing amongst the mining equipment here at the Apedale Heritage Centre. There's a diesel loco there, and this rather unusual looking train here. This is what would have carried miners when they went down into the pit to where they were working. So, Apedale is located near Newcastle under Lyme, Stoke on Trent area. Um, they've got a very good museum which is just behind me here. There's some all sorts about the area, bricks, locomotives, just about everything. They do do tours down the mine, as you can see the drift mine down there. Um, they're not doing that today. It's also home to the Mosley Rail Trust who run the Apedale Valley Narrow Gauge Railway, which is just here. Here's their railway station, more colliery equipment, and um, there was an ironworks here. The, the actual Apedale colliery was further up, so where we are now, this is the site of the ironworks. There was a standard gauge North Staffordshire Railway that came up here. It was a branch from the um, Stoke-on-Trent to Market Drayton line. Now here, here is their railway station. As you can see, there's a train waiting for us, a diesel loco and some carriages. So once they start running, we'll certainly have a ride on that. You can see a war department train. Um, they sometimes have... Um, World War II events where they recreate some of the trains you'd have seen, you know, down on the trenches in France. They have also got trenches here. They're not open today, so we won't be able to go down there today. But anyway, here's our diesel loco. So really looking forward to a trip behind this loco, which will take us further off down the track down there. What I'm going to do, as soon as we've got a bit of time to wait until the train comes, I'm going to follow the footpath, which follows the railway line down. Um, and from there we should be able to see the engine sheds and be able to see some of the locos, hopefully the ones that are outside the sheds. I came here last year when they had their 40th anniversary gala and that was a really good day. I think I had about 10 locos for haulage. It was um, yeah, pr pretty impressive for quite a short railway. It's not the longest of heritage lines but it's um, got a huge, huge collection which is really nice. The area around here though is now all a country park, so what was once a very industrial area has kind of mostly gone back to nature. You can just see there's some ponds up there. I'm going to go along the path up here though, take um, the path that goes off because that runs parallel to the railway. And so I'm hoping we're going to be able to see some of the locos, some of the trains. So here there really is so much history with all the railways that came up here and um, the ironworks, the collieries, um, I couldn't possibly go into it, it's just so much, um, I'm more of an explorer rather than a historian, but I'm just going to show you really what there is here today. Uh, so the main path goes up there, I'm going to go down here, and um, here we will run parallel to the railway. The trenches they've got are just over there in the field. It's also the other thing that's quite fun is going off down there, there's another railway which they very very rarely run passenger trains on but I had a ride last year at their 40th anniversary gala. So there's the station where we were a moment ago, here's the railway line so I'm just going to follow the track down. I can already see up ahead of us there's a load of locos outside the shed which is great. In fact it looks like most of the locos are outside the shed which is obviously even better. So I'm going to be able to show you quite a few locos. Interesting, that's a that looks like the frames and a cab of a diesel loco. Um, I can see steam and diesel with this ahead of us here. This is really quite exciting. So what have we got? We've, from the start we've got a simplex diesel loco. Admittedly my knowledge of industrial locos isn't quite the same as mainline locos. So I'm not sure of every type but that's definitely a simplex. There's a steam loco called Tattoo, there's her saddle tank there on a wagon. Got a motor rail diesel loco, not sure about that one. A Ruston diesel loco, interesting diesel loco there, LR2573. Another one that's got num called number 5. That one's the Simplex number 13. I think it says Alan Keith on it, that's probably a later loco, probably built for um, working in collieries. Maybe it was just overhauled by Alan Keith. I'm not sure. If you know, comment and tell me. And then we move on to our steam locos. Here we have Joffy, quite a famous loco um, for the area. Big, big steam loco for narrow gauge, but it looks big compared to some of the diesel locos 
And this one, this Edgar one, I believe that was built in France. And then what have we got here? Um, that was built in Leeds, that one. Admittedly, I just read that off there. A few more diesels. There's a sham steam loco over there. That must have been built maybe for... I don't think it's one of the Alton Towers one, but one for a theme park. And then my favourite loco they have here, this one here, this um, Hunslet number 303. It's probably one of the biggest um, two-foot gauge locos I've ever been on. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk back to the station and have a ride up and down the railway. And then when I've had a ride on the railway, I'm going to go for a walk. And my plan is to show you, um, I'll show you the station at the other end, show you where they intend to extend the railway. So let's go back to the railway station.
This is Apedale Road Station. This is the current end of the Apedale Valley Railway. You can just see the buffers up there, but there are plans to extend the line further across the road up here and um, on through the country park. There's a couple of things I want to show you while I'm here. I've just frightened a rabbit. Um, so, current end of the line, as we saw on the journey, I filmed the whole journey going back from Apedale Road back to the other end. The track currently ends here. You can see the buffer stops. Now, I did mention earlier about there being a North Staffordshire railway line that came up here from the um, Stoke-on-Trent to Market Drayton line, Standard Gauge line. Well, have a look here. Here we have a section of surviving track of that old North Staffordshire line. So eventually the narrow gauge line will continue across this road and um, continue on up this path. Well, I'm going to go for a walk now. I'm just going to, now I've had a ride on the trains, I'm going to go for a big long walk all around the country park for about four or five miles, um, see what else, but I'm going to leave the video here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I had a great time here. The volunteers were all very friendly. Um, so, you know, do come and visit the Apedale Valley Railway. It's a lovely railway. The Heritage Centre next door is also worth a visit. It's got some very interesting exhibits. A few more diesel locos. I've, to be honest, I've never ever seen anywhere where there's so many locos. I think here, there must be more than 50 locos. I've seen so many diesel locos today. It really is a great place if you like local locos. And if you're not so interested in railways but you just like to have a ride on the train, come here, have a ride on the train. And then when you finish, you can go for a walk like I'm going to in the Apedale Country Park. So, from the Apedale Country Park, thank you very much for watching. Um, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much. Goodbye.